Michael Vasquez here with Oceanside International Film Festival, introducing Sally Kirkland. Her film Posey was here at the festival, and we're very happy to have her. Sally, can you tell us a little bit about your film and um, when you started the project? We started the project just about a year ago, and Posey is about uh, a woman who is in the early stages of Alzheimer's, and her granddaughter is having her committed to assisted living, and she rebels incredibly against that, and and then ends up running away and um, to the beach, falling asleep and dreaming that she's the star of a Bollywood film. All right. And all the people she didn't like in assisted living are in the dream with her, happily dancing with her. Um, but uh, I, uh, the film was made with financial contributions from people whose parents and grandparents had all died from Alzheimer's. Um, and so we had anywhere from one to three hundred people get involved. Oh, really? Because of the subject and, and because the Alzheimer's Association supported us. And um, I, I'm Reverend Sally Kirkland in the Church of the Movement of Spiritual and Awareness when I'm not acting. And I have been a caretaker for cancer patients and oh, heart you? patients and Alzheimer's patients. So I, I've been close up to it and very touched by it in my life. And it was a thrill to be able to play this woman. Um, well, your film has been very well received here in Oceanside. When did you start acting? Uh, when I was 10, um, I went to a place called Valley Drama Camp. And they actually had us do Midsummer Night's Dream by Shakespeare. And I fell in love with it, and pretty soon I went to pre-high school drama school and then high school drama, drama class. I became the president of drama class. I went to an all-girls school, so I played all men. And then when I got out of school at 17, I started working off-Broadway in New York. All right. And, and I've been working since 1960 for money. So I guess it's about 53 years I've been acting. What are some of the favorite films that you've been in? Um, well, they were small roles, but they were great films. The Sting with Robert, oh, yeah, played Robert great. Redford's burlesque girlfriend. The Way We Were, I played Barbara Streisand's communist girlfriend. Um, I did a little thing in Private Benjamin, and um, and then I went on and uh, did all of Aaron Spelling shows on television. And um, in the 80s, I... Uh, I got my big break with a movie called Anna that I'm very proud of that won the Golden Globe and the Independent Spirit Award and it won me Best Actress Oscar nomination. And I play a woman who talks like this. My name is Anna Rokova. I come from Prague, Czechoslovakia. What you want? I don't want to talk about my personal life. <laughs> so I had a lot of fun becoming Czechoslovakian. And, and then after Anna, I loved working with Kevin Costner in Revenge and with Eric Roberts and James Earl Jones and Best of the Best, and with Tom Waits and Keith Carradine and Cold Feet, and with, I played Matthew McConaughey's mom in Ed TV by Ron Howard. Okay, and, I remember that. Yeah, I was the Texan mom, and um, I played the waitress in the cafe where Jim Carrey hangs out in Bruce Almighty, and um, along the way on television, I starred in The Haunted, A True Story, which got me a Golden Globe nomination. All right. And I uh, was on Roseanne, recurring, and um, did Brave New World by Aldous Huxley for NBC. And um, just finished a film uh, called Raymond and, Re Raymond and Becca, Haunting at Edge City. It's a black comedy, uh, a black comedy ghost story. And uh, I'd done Criminal Minds, and Matthew Goobler from Criminal Minds plays the lead, and Kat Dennings from Two Broke Girls is his girlfriend. Oh, okay. And John Waters acts in it, and I am in it, and Mackenzie Phillips, and a bunch of us. So that's in editing now. So, Posey is an important film because of Alzheimer's disease yeah. and how it affects people, and the caregiving of those people. Yeah, and, and how um, our particular film is so filled with love 
you know, that love conquers the fear of Alzheimer's. And is that the Bollywood aspect of the film? It's kind of a... Uh, that would be the humorous aspect. The funner part of the film? Yeah. You know, she just looks at everybody from a different perspective. Yeah. And um, they become family. So when she goes back to assisted living, she has this whole new family of people who love her. And she loves. And Billy DeMota, who directed it, is really brilliant. And he, uh, Erica Rhodes, who plays my granddaughter, she, she, her grandparents died of Alzheimer's. And they were in an Indian restaurant and talking about the film and that's how the whole Bollywood thing came up you know I like that aspect I love the Bollywood part of it yeah that's <laughs> a lot of fun 14 hours one day 17 hours Four. the next day <laughs> that's what filming's all about right I was crippled I was I was limping for weeks <laughs> all right. is there anything else you'd like to add well no it's great being in Oceanside and I'm at the um, Oceanside Omni and it's beautiful looking out my balcony over the harbor with the sailboats and the water. And everybody's well, been so kind to us. Well, I can tell you, uh, here at Oceanside International Film Festival, we are very honored to have you as our guest. Well, I'm very honored to be here, and I understand that I'm being given an award today, and I couldn't be more thrilled. Well, we're thrilled to give it to you. No. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Okay, God bless y'all.